Hello, hello, hello. Kevin Epps here, Digital Brand Sour, with another gameplay video, not tutorial. Haha, ha, I got you. So I'm gonna have to do a voiceover for this because when I originally recorded this um, this gameplay video, for some reason the mic was muted. Don't know how it was. Just didn't go through, and I, it was such a great take, and I can't use any of it. So I'm just uh, doing this voiceover recording. So hopefully I can keep up with everything I did. I explained everything so well before. All right. So the we are releasing 0.9.4. As you can see on the top right of the title screen and the menu screen, we put that in the release so you know what release you're playing. Uh, we have a lot of different tricks and tips, uh, a, a lot of new treats in here. So let's go ahead and get started. First, as you can see, that we have added stages six and seven, as you can see. Uh, I'm probably going to start at stage one because stage one, we can actually show you some of these other treats. And uh, it's, it's gonna look like a totally new game. You know, it's just a refresh game. Uh, we took a lot of your feedback and added it and we still have leftover uh, tickets and, and uh, things that we want to add to it so uh overall list so without further ado let's get started uh, again as you can see just the move list here and you should have noticed at the beginning of the gameplay that there was a new button shown that's attached to attack four called the move list which will allow you to see your moves in the game so you can press and hold uh right now it's set to x uh, but you can assign it to whatever button you want. Uh, one thing that we're going to do in 0.9.5 is ensure that we show the assigned key to each button instead of the button. And also the move list is kind of the generic move list. Uh, we're going to tailor each move list to the character that you have selected in point, uh, 9.5. All right, so now we see the story, the new story look. You see the uh, tower that Shrek is located in. Um, there's a little upscale there and the story. And then you see helpful text at the bottom right that says you can press start to skip. So we're actually about to do that right now. All right, there we go. Cool. So now we're here. I think I'm going to go ahead and select probably use K at this point. Uh, we made an update to Sonic. I'll show that in a second. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just select use K for now. Uh, just wanna show you some new things. You know, we're in stage one. One thing we see is that each stage has its own intro. And as you can see, there is the uh, shake effect being applied here. Uh, the helpful hint at the bottom right on how to skip. Uh, we will press start with some good music to kind of get you ready to attack. Also, we just want to make sure you knew where you were because there's a lot of parts to each stage and things of that nature. So you want to know where you are. I'm just going to go ahead and let this play through, but um, you can skip it and it'll skip on its own as we just saw. All right. So now we are in stage one. And so we'll just go ahead and get going here. So one thing you should possibly be able to notice is the juggle feature so we updated the juggle feature to match what f games did to their streets of rage module or streets of rage game so we took that same logic applied it here uh we're probably going to update the logic to uh kind of force them to stay in the same vicinity of the uh, uh like stay kind of in place a little bit while you're doing your juggling so you can juggle a little more use k i forgot how far he knocks people away so it was kind of difficult to but as you can saw you saw how you saw how that marine stopped once you connected once you connected with them while they were in the air so then he stopped where he was um he just didn't get that final kickoff but uh but yeah that's 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 what we're doing so we'll keep going and then we fight these crabs and then we're just gonna keep you know we're almost done with stage one but there's gonna be one thing that you notice that wasn't there before 
that will make things just a little bit more fluid in the gameplay. Um, I have to use the side screen to really get my juggle on. All right, done with that. So now one thing we're gonna see is that we got rid of our approach to the boss. And go ahead and get that meat pause. And then all you can see now, there's a camera shift to where the boss is. And then the dialogue shows, and then there's dialogue intro music. So, you know, uh, a little touch to keep the keep the uh, momentum of the game going so you're not lost at what's going on and you can also see at the top right you can see Sakura and Eno at the top right we added them in the game as they're crying over Sasuke uh, turning to his ways at this at this moment and so we see the dialogue here and now we are going to get past the dialogue so to defeat you yep mm -hmm, to protect the Uchiha name and the, this music was actually made by students in the music class all right so and as we can see Sasuke is a little bit more uh I mean he's doing his Chidori a little bit more and he is man you got to you got to be on him man because he, he's not playing around and then there's one more treat that you will see so when you get Sasuke down to a certain point and I'm trying to make sure I get him down because if Another thing, if you hit him twice, he'll actually uh, counter with a punch. That Chidori, he is. All right, so get him down to halfway. He now uh, transforms to his uh, curse mark mode. And let me try to see if I can show some of his moves. And as you can see, so he follows you with, with that move instead of just going straight. So he can't really get away from him. Uh, I was trying to get him before he got his fire move because his fire move is crazy. Like it takes you out in one hit. So just got to be careful with that fire move. Um, but yeah, so and we, we were actually doing the same exact thing for Kenpachi. I'm actually going to go ahead and keep going into stage two as well. And we're going to skip past this. Okay, now you were able to see. You, see, you saw I was able to keep him in the air and, and kind of keep him there in front of you while you were juggling him. So appreciate that from F Games for doing their thing. I was trying to do it again, uh, but again, he knocks him away a little further than I want. But I, I mean, it's a, it's a super punch, so I'm going to keep it in there. As you notice, man, um, the moves deal a lot more damage than they used to do, like when we first started. <laughs> you know, we, yeah, look at that. It's just draining them down. All right. So now here's Kenpachi. And he's been updated quite a bit. So you're gonna, you're gonna notice a lot more moves in him and his transformation. Go through that. Yeah, there he is with that move. He, he loves that upward slice rising slash. I know he doesn't say that, but he loves that move. And he tried to knock me in the air with that one, but I got him before he could finish. Oh, and there's the ground pound. And again, you can't get away from that. It it attacks all enemies, regardless of what you're doing and where you are. It, it just takes, so you gotta get him before he can get that move out. And there's that dog gonna move again. It's like I was able to get a juggler going, ah, but he was able to transform. All right, so all right, so that was enough for that fight. Now we're gonna go to stage six, and I'm gonna show you stage six here. And again, same intro, same story. Skip through that. And this time I'm gonna choose Sonic because we made an update to Sonic. We can now transform into Super Sonic. One thing we need to also add is the helpful hint on how to skip past the dialogue, how to move the dialogue along. We're going to add that in the next release, too. So now I'm Sonic here. This is this is some of our students' favorite character. Not going to say it's mine, but, you know, he is fun to play. We're just fast. He's very fast, I mean, because he's Sonic. So you got to definitely get used to playing if you are used to playing with fast characters and you have a reaction time that's pretty good, Sonic's your guy. And he has a he has a really good punch. Look at that! Look at that! He's not he's done in, in three hits. All 
right, get this replenishment here. One more thing I want to know, I want to say is that, okay, so based on this order and based on the story, if you know the story, uh, stage three is the force. Stage four is uh, going to an underworld bunker. And then when you leave the bunker, you come back to the story and it's fire now. Now there's fire all around the forest. You're leaving the bunker. As we can see, Ace is involved in some way. And you gotta be careful with Ace because he has a counter attack. You hit him two times and he's he's throwing a massive attack that you have to dodge. You can't you can't get around that attack. So gotta be careful with that guy. You have some of these uh, other Suna enemies. They're bikers. Again, man, the, the, the students really, they really put a lot of work into this. You know, we really made this in, almost into a whole new experience. So we're always looking for your feedback. All we'll do is add to the list. And in the next work session, we'll, we'll go ahead and, and, and get those worked out. As you can see, he is very difficult. And the music that you hear is it has also been produced by one of our music students. Now we're on stage uh, six, two again, still on fire. So Ace wasn't the main culprit, right? So now we are continuing on. You're seeing people on fire It's definitely a fire stage. Then you got troopers uh, parachuting down. You should recognize where these uh, soldiers are from. Here's here's one part that you probably should pay attention to if you don't skip along. So if you go, if you're trying to play a game, you want to figure out how to get past this person. You're gonna notice something where you can't you can't do a regular attack combo on this woman. She's gonna duck down. Anytime she gets hit, she's gonna duck down. So, you, so you're gonna have to get her in the air to be able to then juggle her because that's the only way to really get, do a lot of damage on her. Cause them little one hits ain't gonna do nothing, you know? And she should remind you of the enemy from Streets of Rage 2. So I was trying to, there we go. Now I got, it in, got her in the air there, transform. But they running from something. And you're gonna see who in a second. So we need to, again, you got these, uh, oh, yeah, as you can see, and you'll keep going unless you dash through. All right, Bakugo, who else would it be but Bakugo setting fire to everything? Just notice the fix we need to add. We'll just fix that in uh, uh, 9.5 uh, to make sure the fire layer is all there. Um, probably add some additional enhancements to this stage as well. But when we start, Bakugo is the true culprit because he don't care about everything. Ace is that was actually trying to test you. Bakugo just don't care. He just want to win. And Shrek was able to appeal to that side. And as you can see, <laughs> Bakugo ain't playing around. Like he's he's not playing around, man. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm trying. Ooh, I was able to get away. That's that's his most powerful move. I mean, then with this music, I mean, it almost feels like it almost feels like the final boss, but it's really not. This is just stage six. Look at that. Look at that. See? Yeah, he said he said how much energy that took away. I'm trying to get him, guys. Man, like he he's he's hard man he's, he's I'm not even gonna tell you who's, who ball who uh, the boss of stage seven is Ooh, yeah gotta get away from that so when he when he does that charge get him away get away because he'll just about kill you yeah see he got me so as you can see this is Bakugo we put a lot of work into him as well so Man, I'm telling you, man, I, I, we we look forward to your feedback here. That is stage six. We're actually going to go ahead and stop right here. I'm not going to show stage seven, but we are looking forward to your feedback here. And uh, thank you for watching and hope you stay blessed and stay brilliant.
Peace.